Let me guess, no gun parts from the many, many people that I, uh, that I murdered the crap out of here. A scrap. It feels like the loot tables here are... Thin. All these dead steel chariots. Where did the riders go? Really? That's it. Like, nine scrap for that entire fight. Regroup. <laughs> I feel like you should get a broken gun for every single one of them. No big deal, but if I ever want to upgrade any or all of my guns, like, oh. That's, um... That's gonna take a while. Let's see, is this based off of the tabletop RPG? Yup. It's pretty good. It's pretty stingy, but it's pretty good. Working artifacts are rare. Oh, right. We already know that one. Weird place for a mass grave. What were all these people doing? Running away, I think. Maybe the Red Plague hit their town and they needed to evacuate. Evacuating or stampeding over each other to be the first one out. Dumbass ancients. Wow, oh, yeah, look at all that loot. As I guess I guess it probably ticks up faster and faster. Uh, you know the stalkers we captured, right? Right? They uh they ran away. I lost them. You let your stalkers escape? The bubbleheads are gonna be mad at you! You better get them back! I can't! The boat took them across the river. And now the bubbleheads have the boat? But where's your boat? If you don't get those stalkers back, they'll shred your brain! Damn. All the people trapped in this tunnel trying to claw their way out. Makes me sick. We've got a butcher here. I can I can kill the butcher. Okay. Gotcha. Hopefully the other ones. The other guy doesn't notice me. He might. He might have seen us. This might just immediately go into battle time. Let's see how this goes. Gotcha. How, how lucky I'm lucky am I? For a newbie. Okay, we're good. More broken guns. Okay, so at this point... Oh, I'm sorry. Dear Tina, there's no way out. I'm trapped here. In my car. The traffic stopped moving days ago and the tunnel collapsed. I'm not sure you will ever get to read this, but in case you do, I have something to admit. Something which I am very sorry for and regret I will carry to the grave. Do you remember the period? Your pet turtle Snappy. Oh, sorry. Pet turtle Snappy didn't swim up to you when you called his name? This is because it wasn't Snappy, but a replacement turtle, as unfortunately the first Snappy perished when I accidentally dropped my beard trimmer in his tank. It was quick. He didn't feel anything after the first few minutes of absolute total agony. I thought you should know. Also, he is now a she. The store ran out of male turtles, and I was worried you'd be upset. Sorry. I love you. Always yours, Jonas. Hey, follow me. Finally, way out of this torture chamber. Follow me. Oh. That had to hurt. Okay, probably should have gotten a little bit closer, but that's fine. Let's see, someone was caught sneaking. I mean, they all were. I'm not exactly trying to hide. I'm just trying to kill these guys. You finally figured out how to use that thing? Okay. Come on. So there's a broken gun. Yeah, down there. Actually, that looks like scrap. A helpful amount, but still scrap. So what else do we got around here? Because obviously I don't want to leave yet. Uh, 
a fire? Still? What? Nope, can't do that. All right. Yeah, so these hunters are still a bit on the tough side. Hunter, pyro, medbot. Well, let's go around. I want to kill that pyro. If I can kill him in the first round, anything else and everything else gets much, much easier. And it looks like it's only these three. Okay, ambush. Because I only see a handful of them. You run and gun. Tree hugger the lot of them. Get some cover. And then shoot the pyro. What's this? Let's grab ducks. Still 100% chance to shoot the pyro. That's good. I think we'll be able to kill him. Fun. Yeah, no another medbot. I think the medbots are specifically here to... I think I think the medbots are largely here to to make this harder on me for obvious reasons. Okay, kill the pyro. Oh, I'm born, bitch. I was really hoping it would be close enough to set them all on fire. Because yeah. Personal injury is blocking. Dangers provide on approach vector. What I wanted to do was uh, I was hoping that would that would knock him Not. into his uh, into his compatriots and then set them on fire. Sadly, that doesn't actually work. Oh, well, that's fine. Ow. Nice going, ducks. Go around the fire, you nit. I did that. We're what fine. Do you think about that, huh? We're fine. I don't need to worry about this. Okay. Can you hit the hunter from here? Yeah, it looks like it. It said 100%, and then when it, it went down to 75. For the All right. For the ah! One way or another, time to kill the robot. You really think you could actually, like, hijack the robot at this point? Ah! Like, how great would it be if you could actually, like, get, like, a small robot army in this game? I would be really down with that. Sadly, no dice. They're yeah. so beefy. I almost wish this everybody had like next to no HP in this game. And oh, does that hurt? it was much more of a it was much more of a like super high stakes tactical game. Uh not unlike uh Blades of the Shogun. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. That game had like if your guys got spotted at all, they were pretty much guaranteed dead. It worked really well. State switcher. Roughly crafted long range rail rifle formed of parallel banks and batteries and magnets. This alignment allows the state switcher to fire a metal slug with some force and quite a far distance. Chronicler Amadeus. Has some range on it, yeah. Okay, we also got Driver 30. Two, addi two additional critical damage, 30% chance to knock enemies back. That's not bad. Hey guys, come here. Okay, we've got a little bit more to check out as we go along. Well, I'm enjoying this. I was worried today was going to be a curse day considering the frame rate I was working at with uh with just cause. Luckily, not so. Looks like there might be an item over there. What's this? Oh, medkit. Yes. Yes, please. And some scrap, it looks like. The scrap is legitimately hard to spot.
Nope. Not actually anything there. I saw the light off of a car and I'm like, yes, there's some more scrap back there or something more important. The answer is no, it's actually something less important, unfortunately. Let's see, thoughts on X4. I will be playing that at the end of the night tonight. I figured doing space sim stuff when I'm sleepy, and I'm already sleepy, would be a good idea. All right, so this is going smoother. I, I was I was worried when we first ran into those dudes. I was just like, this, I'm going to get crushed. The answer is no. Okay, so I can get him moth wings. You have the ability to grow wings on your back. This enables you to have move vertically and hover in position, giving you a tactical advantage over enemies beneath you. Also allows you to get high places that you nor that would normally be out of reach. Let's see. X4 is not good. Play well sleepy. I don't get a choice today, because... I gotta play other games that are much, much harder than X4. So we'll see how it goes. Mainly just, uh... I wanted to do this, because... Sleepy Tactics, I just stop talking. And then... I'm doing crosscode with Shell, and I don't want to be too sleepy for that. Because the Sleepy Crosscode just sucks. It's hard. I'm hoping Adam we can get to. Wanted to cross a big body of water to get to a place called the House of Bones. He said the crash site was near there. Okay, so we're right there. So I think we'll get we'll clear the House of Bones and then we'll switch games. I think that seems reasonable. Let's grab what we got here. More medkits. Stalker Anton note. So this is really this is a really weird. Probably this is really weird. Whilst me and the crew were on an expedition in the north, we found a strange artifact that we believe was used to keep things cold. It was sitting in the old palace to the east of the House of Bones, which is in a permanent state of cold anyway. The ancients are a strange bunch. A lot of dead hazmat people everywhere. Hot dang. Okay, kiss me quick. 20% critical chance when hidden. That. That's handy. Okay, this thing has an okay crit chance. Bad crit chance. Okay. He looks ridiculous. Then again, all the characters kind of do. Ah, uh, there might be something over here. Yep. A hand grenade. Why did why did that man have a hand grenade? I don't know. I I don't know. Okay, whatever. We're we're golden. So let's Let's progress on. I don't see anything else here. Unfortunately, finding the loot is actually, like, really, really I difficult. I keep looking for dead duck bodies, but I never see one. Are we the only mutants in the zone? You're right. There are no mutants in the zone. I've been checking bodies ever since you mentioned it. Huh. I know there's some other mutants, though. That we'll find along the way. Evac it's control judgment team. day, sinners. Obey me, and your soul will be saved. Ah, making my head spin. Did you hear that? I heard the same voices when me and Hammond got ambushed. Ghouls popping up everywhere. Check that guy out. You see him? Head like an infected mushroom. You think he's leading the ghouls? Wait a minute. That's the guy who attacked me and Hammond. I think Hammond recognized him, but... That was the last thing I remember. He's one of the Nova sect. I heard stories about them. Bogeymen with big heads. Didn't think they were real. Bet he's real enough to take a bullet, though. 
Okay, so we might... Oh, message to 555-678-9390. Eric, I need you to gather the children and take the next ferry without me. I'll join you at the shelter very soon. My phone calls aren't going through, so I pray you, that you receive this message. The soldiers have told those of us who have the red eye infection to wait until the dock. Wait at the dock until the medic has checked us. Please look after Lucas and Freya and tell them I love you all so much. Tina, X. Gather on the ship, my children. Your destiny awaits. We believe, Reverend. We believe. Yeah! Hear my voice within your heads. The Ark calls you ghouls, but you are beautiful. You are children of the ancients. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so Marauder right there. It's exit combat. Your I can get a bit closer. thoughts are sinful. Give me your brain, so I may lead you into salvation. Okay, probably should have waited until he was in open ground, but this is fine. I can start taking these guys out as we go along. Hello! How's it going? Oh. Okay, yeah, we can we can just charge him. Before you go into the House of Bones, you can level up. Sorry about that, I've been leveling up constantly. Coming. Please pay attention. Obey me. Obey Over here. Me. Guess people were packing for a trip. Guess they didn't make it. Yeah, I can't level up. Uh, this this game doesn't do level ups like other games. You have to have a certain amount of points to be able to afford stuff. And I don't want to just buy whatever. I'm trying to buy very specific things. Okay, so we've got a Marauder. Eyes over here! Yeah, over the spare well, I was hoping I could sneak that, but I guess it didn't work. Alright, so it's just a set hunter. Ow. Okay. Wait, what? What kind of positioning nonsense is this? I mean, let's hope I don't have to deal with everybody else. Okay, yeah, absolutely ambushed. <laughs> HP does he have? Bucket loads. Okay, so we want to do run and gun. Tree hugger. Not entirely sure what kind of weapon he's rolling with. But I want to kill this guy, if I can. I think I can kill him. He looks he looks pretty close to killable. Okay, so let's run and gun again. Okay. Get over here. Yeah, it's the sect hunter. For whatever reason, she was lit up in that room. I owe you a grog. That was amazing. Alright, so this guy has pretty much nothing. 50% chance, 100% chance. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna gun him down. The cover mechanics are kind of important. I exploded the tree there. Okay. That's probably good enough. There we go. 
Yeah, as long as we're not in a big now fight, I can just guts it. Kill. Being on normal difficulty might have made this too easy, but oh well. I'm mostly here for the story. So critical hit chance. I'll try and uh, stealth take down people. That's what I wanted to do in this section, but we got caught out in a bad way. Let's see, so how does health recovery work in this game? It's weird. Supposedly, if you're on hard difficulty, you'll recover half the damage you've taken. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's the damage that you took from that specific combat, or you just heal slowly over time. This is uh, the boat. What an incredible piece of junk. At least it floats, right? Come back here. And on higher difficulties, it looks like uh, you heal less and less. Uh, the, the values weren't immediately clear to me. I just turned myself on normal mode because I just kind of enjoy uh, charging through this game. And I feel like I could probably figure out how to do... I could probably figure out how to do this with uh, with a higher difficulty, but it would take longer, and I don't know. I really am just here to kind of experience. At least this time. What, what games do I like playing on harder difficulties? Usually tactical games, but I think I need more like... Um, diversity in what I can do. If this game had insane nonsense, like... Maybe a... Oh, jeez. I found the boss fight. We're right here. Let me guess. And he's big-brained. He's one of the big-brained ones. Okay, let's go into the inventory. He's got this. I'm gonna switch it out for the Helm of Wisdom. Great new save file. I mean, we're pretty much just gonna have to guts these guys. Okay, so I see a sect hunter and a sect pyro. And then Brother Bowden, who... You know, I was really expecting him to have a whole lot less HP. I guess I'll just put him behind here. Here, we need some snipier guns. Yeah. Or just some punchier guns. Like, jeez. These guys are... And yeah, what about the railgun? Railgun does no more damage than my... Uh, than any of my pistols and stuff. Like, it's... Kind of weird, actually. How, how little damage I'm allowed to do. With my current setup. There we go. Enough. That was See, awesome. If I looked into heat signature, I've already played heat signature. My followers, kill them! Kill them all! Yeah. God, he has so much HP. <laughs> Upgrade your weapons is the only way to get punchier guns. I, I would, and I have been, and it barely made them punchier. They only do like one more damage, considering. We're in this, like, weird arms race, race of, like, health here. And these guys are... chunky. That. I guess I'm just gonna hang back and shoot at him. My options otherwise are charge? I'm not really sure what the mind control Here, mechanics. Have some of my juice. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's too much else apart from this guy. Oh, he's got some armor now. Alright. I'll kill him eventually. Move forward with the gaper. Let's move forward with the gaper, see if I can kill him. There we go. 
bullseye. You did good. Let's see. I guess I'm just going to move forward. Can't really do too much else. We'll just reload. I like the crossbow, but I think... I grant you the power! I think I might just switch... Well, I'm not even sure what I'd switch it out for. We're a long way from the Arc Beast, boy! Did he actually... No. Okay, so we're not actually within fighting range yet. Well, this works really well. Okay, tree hugger the both of them. So they're just going to be stuck there for who knows how long. And let's shoot the guy. That guy there. Okay. Hey. Okay, so that... Oh, that's dumb. I was hoping that would stun it so uh, he wouldn't have the armor anymore. He doesn't. Wait, what? No, damn it. All right, whatever. That had to hurt. I guess I'll just keep shooting this guy. I... am going to be here for a while, aren't I? Well, at least I can bully Brother Bowden into the dirt slowly. Okay, go slow. Because my alternatives are non-existent. All right, well he's dead. We are unstoppable. Are you? You're my stalker. Wow, that is something. Uh, it's you run and gun. Keep up, keep up with this guy. Actually, let's go over here and knock him in. So the mind control helmet was a really good idea because this would have sucked. I'm not sure how long that that mind control goes for, but like, now it's getting fun. That's the that that could have been lethal. Because yeah, this guy is just a giant meat sack, and then some armor. I will cleanse the evil that plagues your soul. Ow. What? So me. Ow. There he goes. Yeah, I think I'm playing on the right difficulty. Owie. Weapon parts, Molotov. What did he have on him? An EMP grenade. Of all things. Follow me. All right. Do we have anything else around here that I've missed? Probably. Probably lots. Let's see. Anything else? A little kid's play, uh, play equipment, which... Have driven Borman mad, or drives Borman mad, I guess? Still does. I don't know. He's... Pokemon the nose chain lightning. He's a definite mixture of things. Okay, well, do we have anybody else on here? I don't think so. Oh, evac, evac control key. Okay, we should go back for that then. It wasn't too far away either. It was just like down the boat and across and whatever. It was over there. Yep. I, I do wish that they moved a little bit faster in the overworld. Like, maybe once you've killed everybody on the map, you got like a little bit of a speed boost. That'd be kind of nice. 
Just because, ugh. You get stuck, too. And this game is surprisingly charming. Yeah, they did a really good job with the writing for it. It's a little cartoonish at times, but it works well enough. What is this? What do we got? We've got pyro armor. Absorbs fire damage. Eh, helpful if we if we know we're up against pyros. <laughs> you know, that would actually be kind of fun. Just collect hard counter items. It's like, oh, it looks like we're going to be fighting pyros in this fight. Let's just load up on uh, pyro armor and, <laughs> and then laugh as they do nothing but burn themselves on me. Okay, I don't see anything else immediately in this area. So let's just get get out of here. The voice acting is pretty good too. Nobody sounds like they're uncomfortable in the recording studio. That is important in games. I... I mean, I guess I am the purveyor of bad voice acting for... Oh! Okay, so that's how we get out of here. We actually use the boat. That sounds like a bad idea. We'll do it anyway. Um... Oh, common scrap. I don't know how, how they keep this, this place powered. Power brick. Oh, hey. Heavy lump of metal that the ancients used to connect machines to make them work. There still seems to be some power in it. Makes your tongue tingle if you lick the hey, top. Hey, I've seen these before. You need to lick the top to see if it still works. The ancients used these to run lights and machines. Prip will give us a good deal on this one. It still holds power. Ducks, don't play with that thing. We're bringing it back to Prip. Look, I can't feel my tongue. Hey, it's not funny. That's cute. Okay, I don't see the. I don't see anything else in this area. I'm trying to be thorough, but I'm not. I, I don't want to spend forever looking for things. Let's go check out the, uh, the House of Bones, or whatever it is. I didn't catch what you were saying back there, Selma. Where was Hammond going? The House of Bones. We're almost there. And why, pray tell, do they call it the House of Bones? It's a big house full of dead people. Oh, fantastic. Borman, don't lie to me. You do not want to be doing this right now. What I want and what I need are two different things. We need to find Hammond. So shut up and get your head in the game. Must have been hard to voice Borman, though. His voice is rough. Red Plague Protocol. Red Plague Warning. Do not enter. Offenders will be shot on sight. If you're experiencing the following symptoms, report immediately to the quarantine area in Drottinggatan. Drottinggatan? Red blisters on skin, high body temperature, nerve spasms, paranoia, blood and eyes. If unable to reach this location, stay indoors and call 555-008-922. I wonder how many of these are actual, like, real numbers in video games. Like, do they just pick a random number? Or do they actually choose the right thing? Because, like... I don't know, I love it when developers do the the sneaky thing where they actually register that phone number and you can call it. And they'll, like, do extra bits for you. Or not do extra bits for you, like, uh, have, like, a little automated thing that with flavor dialogue or maybe a secret or who knows what. What games have done that? Not many. Essentially everything under 555 is non-existent. Huh. Good to know. Actually, look like there's anything on that truck. Let's see, anything on you? Because, yeah, I don't want to miss any weapon parts. This game's stingy enough that it'd be bad to miss out. So yeah, cold up in these parts, I can't feel my beak. Yeah, I've never been this far north before. I feel cold to the bone. Let's see. Fallout, you can call Vault-Tec. It's the only one you know personally. Oh, that's neat. 
I remember, I think years ago it was more, more common to have All that these sort of bodies. thing. This is just. There's something out there waiting for us. I can feel it. I'm trying to remember what games. I don't know. I bet I could look this sort of thing up. Whenever I like think of this stuff, I'm like, I bet Holy I could. Ancient's power. Do you feel it? Let us now gather at the sacred site for the ritual sacrifice. The fallen machine did not contain the sacred numbers. But fear not, my children. The machine led a stalker to us. A smart stalker whose mind holds the secrets we need. The smart stalker will show us Okay. So we should be able to just kill this guy. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Because of the lawsuits surrounding 8675309, call Jenny. Most numbers are fake. Huh. Cool. Yeah, I... I think I've heard of stuff like that, or it's like it's common sense that game developers don't just pick a random number. Nighty night. You did it, kid. Oh, the House of Bones. What a nice inviting place. These signs have a lovely touch. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. okay, back me up. Regroup. Oh, good. They warped you. I was worried about that for a second. That building there? The House of Bones. It was a fortress full of tiny flesh eating monsters called Students. They came here every day to learn how to become bigger monsters. Where you hear the story? I don't hear the story, I see the story. I went inside and I saw all these drawings of monsters and, and flying machines and, and gross stuff. Scary stuff. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but this might be a good spot to just kill. Okay, so we get bonus damage because we're high up. Or is it bonus aim? I'm not entirely sure. It looks like it's just bonus aim. Well, that's fine. Because I should be able to just kill this guy. That's convenient. I was really hoping I could actually, uh... Sweet takedown. Lure everybody in. I guess that's something that I could do. Uh, let's see. How many mutations do we got? Corpse Eater. Eh... Fire twice using only one AP. Versus eat corpses to restore HP. Let's try let's try this. We're still waiting on him. I could save up for the extra movement speed. It's tempting. Frog legs seem kinda handy. Being able to just like jump around and stuff. Let's see, so how do we do this? Over eh. here. There's just this guy right here. Wouldn't be a big deal. Okay. Yeah, we can just kill him. Perfect. Wish their mutations had visible effects on their models outside of active use. Yeah, I, I had been hoping they would actually mutate much, much more than they did. 
The tactical benefits of what they're giving me are pretty good. I'll give it that. But I was hoping for something a little bit more egregious. Like if you really if you really go down the the tree effectively, your characters end up looking pretty wild. But no. Oh well. I like how fast the battles go. I like the fact that you don't actually have to fight everybody. This isn't like XCOM where the moment you get spotted, everything becomes... Stone cold. Uh, corpse just... duped. Uh, it isn't like XCOM where the moment you get spotted, the whole battle becomes... Well, it, it just goes straight into battle mode. And you can actually do si silent takedowns and so on and so forth. Doesn't work in every situation. In fact, many, but it works occasionally. This might be a good point to just go full ham. I see a lot of dudes. Going full ham here is worrying. But a metabot plus one of the big brain dudes. Ugh. I guess the other thing we could do is go back. Let's let's do that actually. Cause these guys are uh level twenty. Let's let's go back to Ark for a second. 